Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the most common form of muscular dystrophy, is an X-linked recessive genetic disorder affecting boys and young men. Unfortunately, this, this disease actually causes a progressive loss of muscle tissue and muscle fibers and replacement of that muscle tissue by fat and connective tissue. Patients eventually develop a reliance on power wheelchairs, they lose upper limb function, and they have progressive cardiomyopathy, which is the leading cause of death. The HOPE-2 clinical trial published in The Lancet was the first clinical trial targeting the most severely affected patients, non-ambulatory patients that also had cardiomyopathy. Uh, the trial utilized cardiosphere-derived stem cells. These are, these are cells that are progenitor cells that are harvested from donated human hearts. And we actually infuse these cells intravenously into Duchenne patients every three months for a year. And what we found was the, the cell-based therapy actually led to a relative slowing of progression in the loss of upper limb function, uh, greater than a 70% slowing in upper limb deterioration. And it also uh, led to complete stabilization of cardiac deterioration uh, relative to placebo uh, in patients uh, treated with a cell-based therapy. So a treatment that synergistically addresses both the skeletal muscle dysfunction uh, while also addressing the progressive cardiomyopathy uh, can, I think, have tremendous impacts on improved survival and quality of life in these patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy.